So for breakfast today, I just made some rhubarb compote and I'm gonna serve that with some overnight oats that I prepped yesterday. These just have some chia seeds, flax seeds, and some vanilla. And I'm gonna layer these in this jar. So let's get started. I'm gonna have to do a photo shoot with this. I'll be back. Okay, let's give this a taste. I'm so excited. Wow, that is so good. The vanilla in the oats and the rhubarb just go so well together. That is so good. I definitely recommend trying this out if you like rhubarb because I know a lot of people don't, which I personally don't get, but... For dinner, I've got a delicious bowl of curry with some basmati rice and some fresh parsley. The curry is really simple. I actually didn't use coconut milk this time. I just sauteed down some mushrooms and onion with a bunch of spices. And then I added the lentils as well as some water. And then for the last 10 minutes or so, I also added the cauliflower. This was super simple to make. And as mentioned, I'm serving this with some rice. I'm just getting into prepping my dinner because I'm actually going into work in about 30 minutes so I need to prep something. That's actually a question I get asked a lot like why do I prep all my food and not like buy anything there. Very simple answer, I want to travel and I'm saving most of my money for that. So uh, I've got some leftovers from a couple of days ago where we made some spring rolls. I've just got some carrots and cucumber here that are julienned. And then I also have leftover peanut sauce uh, that I'm also going to use, so this just screams like a rice noodle salad, so that is what I'm going to make. 
So into my large bowl, I'm just gonna add my rice noodles, the leftover veggies, fresh parsley, cause I'm still obsessed. I just baked some tofu really quickly. This is just coated in oil and sesame seeds. And then I'm just gonna cut in some spring onions, which are finely in season. So I'll just quickly mix this together. Whoops. All right. So this is gonna be dinner. Oh, I really need to get changed because I'm still wearing my PJs under this hoodie. So I need to get going. Good morning. This morning I want to make a porridge that I had on vacation that I just haven't been able to stop thinking about, honestly. So I'm gonna try to recreate this at home. It should be pretty simple. I don't think it was that complicated. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've got my oats here and my cinnamon apples. The like special thing, I guess, what they did is they added peanut butter to the oats. I was like mind blown. I didn't realize you could do that, but it's so good. The texture is just incredible. And then I've got some hemp seeds, just a bit of flaky salt, which is gonna go really well with the sugar in the apples. And then the last thing that they did was they added some warm milk to the top. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you what I usually eat before my runs because I'm about to go for my long run. I usually don't film this uh, just because I forget I have something carby and sugary because that's obviously something that gives you energy. So I usually have either like bread with like honey or Nutella or sugar beet syrup or I have cereal. At the moment I'm loving bread so I'm having bread today. I'm going to add a good amount of uh, honey to this. This honey actually comes from the garden of my parents' friends. And then to make this extra delicious, I like to add a bit of flaky salt on top. So I'm going to enjoy this and then go for my run and then I'll see you at dinner. In case you were wondering, I got absolutely drenched on my run. I get the most intense craving for lemon poppy seed flavored stuff like once every three months. So today was one of those mornings. Wir waren in Holland.
Magst du Gewürzgurken? <lacht> ja, deshalb hatte ich dich eben. As you can tell, I'm craving yellow rice and lentils, as I usually do. And I'm serving this with some curried veggies. I obviously have to add some parsley. And then I'm going to do some lemon juice to balance out the flavors. craving a savory breakfast, so I'm gonna make a chickpea sandwich. This is the type of breakfast that I wish more cafes would serve because you just can't find something like this on menus. Anyways, I'm gonna give it a taste. This is delicious. I wish I would have had like some tomato to put on top as well, but this is really good. I definitely recommend trying it out. So, for lunch today, I've got a big bowl of goodness. We've got some sesame and ginger chickpeas, which I will leave the recipe for down in the description. Probably my favorite way to eat chickpeas. And then some rice, and then just a bunch of veggies to use up. Radicchio, parsley, bell pepper, cucumber, scallions, and some sprouts, and then also some pickled onions. In my opinion, this doesn't actually need a sauce because the chickpeas are quite oily. But yeah, this is looking so good. I'm very excited to eat. Okay, so I just finished eating that granola and I have a game this afternoon. I'm gonna pack a snack for afterwards because I know I'm always super hungry after my games. I just made another sandwich. So I've got some hummus, some pickled onions, some lettuce and some sprouts. So this is going in the box. And then after my game, I'm actually having dinner with my family and we're gonna have like a game and dinner night together, which I'm really excited about. So you'll see that in a bit.